Hi, welcome back to Traffic video series and in this video which is going to be the third video uh, I'll show you how you can use uh, HTTPS to encrypt the incoming traffic uh, incoming traffic and uh, yeah using as uh, self-signed certificates or certificates which you have uh, purchased already from somewhere so you have some certificate files which you want to place in the traffic proxy how do you do that uh, I can show you uh, th that using uh, self-signed certificates but if you have your own of course you just replace the file name and this is uh, in our topics is this is the topic here SSL TLS HTTPS with self-signed certificates this is our progress so far we are here and that's covered in example 3 very good we have docker compose dot yaml file we have traffic uh, traffic uh, container listening on port 80 443 and 8080 we have nginx with this host rule we have tomcat we have mysql uh, by this time you might have realized you must have realized that these are just completely useless services in our example but they are there to represent your setup right they are here to represent a multi multi app stack or multi-container app whatever way you want to look at it okay this is the this is the compose file but there is one new thing in it actually two one is the port but here is a mount as well a new vo new volume mount it's mounting a directory called certs from my present working directory or current working directory and mounting it inside the traffic container on slash certs. So, how are these certificates generated and how traffic would know about them? So, let's check traffic.toml file. And here I have, first off, I have something new for you. Uh, in the previous configurations, we had just HTTP as a en default entry point, but this time we have two default entry points and we have entry points as uh, 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 two entry points HTTP and we have some advanced features in it as well and I want to take them one at a time uh, but let's hope that this makes sense to you I'll try to explain uh, yeah, there is admin username and password as well. We can just forget that for now. It's not important. Important part is this part. And also these two lines here. So basically, we have added a section called entry points.https and we say that it will listen on 443. And it has a subcomponent which says it is basically enabling TLS. And then it says or specifies that TLS has some certificates and those certificates can be found uh, from this location. So cert file is here and key file is here. That's the, these are the directives for HTTPS entry point in traffic. So it's very simple. And what we have done here is uh, we have added a modifier to the HTTP entry point which say that anything coming in on HTTP has to be redirected to HTTPS so it's like forcing uh, any plain text traffic traffic to uh, HTTPS it's that simple nothing nothing special this is just admin uh, uh, username it can stay we have no problem with it that's it that's the that's this example so to generate self signed certificates you can find hundreds and thousands of examples maybe on the internet 
and so I have copied one of them here and actually placed it in a shell script for you it's a very simple command which you can use uh, it will generate a very simple self signed certificate it will generate tls.key and tls.cert uh, here which you will move to the search directory so let's first remove whatever is in search directory now I run the self signed certificate script and it asks me for some questions I'll say country name is Norway uh, Oslo Oslo organization name is Pragma IT is okay for now organizational unit name common name and uh, this time I'm going to use a wildcard uh, uh, name for for my uh, all the containers which I'm running because I have traffic.example.com I have nginx.example.com I have tomcat.example.com I have www.example.com and I want to serve all of them by this single certificate so I can just say star.example.com press enter and I provide my email address and this is a self signed certificate for just example so I could just say a at b dot c yeah okay so two certificates are, are generated and remember and make sure that TLS dot key has the permissions or file permissions as 0600 read write only for the owner I'm going to move TLS dot star files into the search directory right very good and my traffic uh, configuration knows that it has to use these files from a certain location and that certain location is provided by my docker compose file if you are not sure I can, can do a cat on my docker compose and here's the directory being mounted inside the traffic container so I'm all set to start this stack. I'll do docker compose ps first to see if anything is running or docker ps, nothing is running. So I will do docker compose up minus d. It will bring up uh, the four services or containers. I can verify doc by docker ps. I have four containers running. Very good. I go to a new incognito mode uh, browser and I go to nginx.example.com right this is plain HTTP I'm going to type HTTP colon slash slash this thing press enter and it immediately got redirected to HTTPS nginx.example.com and also I see an error or a problem on my browser which says that uh, certificate authority is invalid it says it's for this um, it has this subject I can click here and click on certificate which is invalid because it's a self signed certificate it is issued to this common name which is correct and it was issued today the, at this time which is also correct three minutes ago but I can choose to advance and move and uh, move or go forward or proceed to nginx which works so now if I press F5 it works and if I go to uh, some other uh, I can do go to Tomcat And that will also be encrypted here Tomcat it says or shows the same error I can proceed and there you go and if I type in traffic now dot example dot com even if I type HTTP 
that also gets redirected to https traffic.example.com and if I choose to proceed I'm asked the password which is the dashboard password and I hope I know it admin secret admin simple come on okay secret it works and now I can see my dashboard on HTTPS authenticated and encrypted very good and now I see two entry points you see here instead of just seeing HTTP you also see HTTPS but the backends don't show HTTPS because backends are not supposed to do supposed to show that they uh, traffic is doing SSL termination for them all right so self sign certificates we created we have provided to traffic traffic use them our sites are protected very good in the same way you can uh, you can provide a pre-purchase certificate here whatever organization you are and if you have purchased certain certificate for your domain then you can just place it in the in the exact same way you can place it here provided to traffic traffic will happily load it and will serve your traffic uh, yes and there are of course other ways to provide secrets like the certificate itself and other username and passwords uh, through other means using environment variables using uh, other key value stores or even vault uh, for that is used for that but that's not the objective of this uh, this this video series here I just want to show how it works and then you can uh, improve uh, at your own all right so let's clean this up docker compose stop and docker compose remove minus yeah. so in this video we covered uh, self-signed certificates encrypting traffic with self-signed certificates uh, that's it and next video is very exciting I'm going to talk about let's encrypt so see you in the see you in the other video then